Hello fellows and welcome to a redstone tutorial with Tigers RC. This time we'll be making a semi-automatic fully AFK tree farm that works with three different types of trees oak, birch, and jungle. It is extremely compact, resource light, and simple to use seeing as it will give you a sapling back whenever you plant a tree and any extra saplings and apples are stored on the bottom left. To start up the farm, simply walk inside, use the lever on the left to determine what type of tree you want to plant, take one sapling out of the dropper and fill up the rest of your inventory with non-sapling blocks, and then turn it on with the lever on the right and hold right click. It will do everything else. In order to build this farm, you'll need some resources. Please feel free to pause the video to look these over and get a few back. If there's a stack of 64, it really just means that you'll need a lot of it. Also, please notice that the chests in the bottom right are more symbolic for you to make your own storage system. When you've got everything and you think you're ready to go, go ahead and place down your dirt block. You'll need a rectangular prism around your dirt block with four blocks below, to the back, to the left, and to the front. Five blocks to the right and nine blocks up. Place a dropper facing upward right behind the dirt block and a dispenser right on top of that. Then take your hoppers and run three of them into that dropper with redstone dust on top of the first two. Now come around the front, place two junk blocks, destroy the middle one, and place an upside down stair on that one. Then place three more junk blocks and place a stair on top of that one. Then place two more junk blocks and your dropper, your last dropper, facing into that one. Now place a few more junk blocks and your a block right there with a sticky piston and a block underneath it then use a lever with a piston right there to make your door that piston is optional and only if you really want to have a door you can fill in the rest of this area so that you have a small corridor like this and this is your on off switch pretty much done don't forget the redstone dust on your upside down stair. It should activate both pistons whenever you flick the lever. Now come around to the bottom. Directly underneath your drip block, place a piston with a redstone block on it. Then a another two blocks down and one block over here. Place a redstone torch on the side of that block. And a block right there, there, and a half slab that's upside down right there. Then continue with blocks there and there and come down one, put three blocks in a little L shape, two blocks up and then another two blocks up. Put redstone dust on top of these blocks here except for that one, put a comparator on subtract mode there and a block to block those off. Now come around this side, put a repeater on no delay, and a redstone dust right there and there. You should end up with something that looks like this. When you press the lever with this design, you'll start up a clock and your dispenser will start rapid firing. And if you place a block there, it will extend your sticky piston with redstone block underneath it. Like that. This is what starts up the piston pushers and leaf crushers whenever you grow a tree. Now come underneath, place two blocks right there and there, a repeater on two ticks on that block, and around the other side of it, place a block there, block above it, and a block to the side of it with a redstone dust right there. Now place a sticky piston with a block in front of it right there, run two blocks over and one block up, and redstone dust on all four of those. This is a pulse limiter, so whenever you activate the farm, you will get a two-tick pulse out of that yellow thing like that. Now, from the end of your yellow line, take 
your blocks, run three of them like that, and then one up. And you're going to want to go over and down and up and down and all over um, to get a shape that looks like that. Put a repeater right there, dust right there, torches on those two. Underneath this torch come two blocks down and make a little squiggly shape like that. Put a repeater on that one and redstone dust on those three. It should turn on. Then take redstone dust there and there and a repeater facing into that block. Now you should put redstone dust on that block and then come around underneath where your dropper is and place two blocks right there and there. This system will give you a sapling whenever you grow a tree. Now let's make the item sorter to filter out all your apples. Come three blocks over from your red circuit on the end and build a shape that looks like that. It's like a circle with a block in one corner. Place a comparator there to redstone dust and then a repeater right there. Then put a torch on the side of that block there. That's your item sorter done. Now come around to your orange and yellow side, place upside down half slabs right there and there with a block there and a block there with another block up right there. Then take a repeater on two ticks, redstone dust there, 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 and a upside down half slab right there. A block directly on top of your repeater with dust on those two then a block there, a repeater on two ticks with a block up, and then redstone dust right there with another block up right there, and redstone dust on top of it. Now come over to this side and use one of your pieces of glowstone, yes this does have to be glowstone, and put it right on the side of that redstone dust with redstone dust on top of it. This is the circuit for your piston pushers complete. Now from your piston pusher circuit bring it up one over here where that half slab is with redstone dust on top of it. Another one up with a redstone torch on the side and a block on top of that with a redstone torch directly on top of it with a block on top of that. Now come over to the other side from the higher of the two redstone torches, put a block on top with a redstone torch on the side, a block on top of that redstone torch with redstone dust on top of it, and a block diagonally up from that with redstone dust on top of it. These are the circuits for your piston crushers. Now to make your tree type selector. Place a block there with a block diagonally down and a little L shape, three long with four redstone dust on top of it, place a block there with redstone torch on top of it, followed by three more redstone torches in a torch tower, like this. Put a block on top of that last one and make a little S shape with an upside down half slab right there like that and put redstone dust on top of all of those. Now put a block coming out of that last piece of redstone dust like that with a torch on the side of it and then you should be right next to your dirt block. Place a sticky piston on the side of it right above your dirt block It should extend and place a block on this, that. Don't forget to put a lever right there. If it's in the up position you're in oak mode. If it's in the down position you can make birch and jungle trees. Now for your hoppers. Place one right there facing into your dropper and then you are going to have to do some interesting shift clicking to get one facing out right there. You can destroy any extra hoppers like that. Then bring another one out, make one face into your comparator and then to that face out directly beneath your comparator thing, one directly above your redstone torch. Now you need to run this into your own storage system. I'm just going to put two large chests right here. The top one will have saplings, the bottom one will have apples. Then come around the back, place a hopper there and there, 
with another one on the side of that fate going towards your stairs one right on top of there and then two out from that one over and two more out from that one as well as one more over from that one now come around to the other side of your stair place two like that and one up with one out of it on each of these two sides and one more out on that side with another three running this way that's your hoppers pretty much complete they should look something like this go ahead and fill in the first floor walls of your room and make sure that wherever I place glowstone you also have glowstone because that is important now you'll need to make some of your vertical piston wiring. I'd recommend doing this by placing a pillar of junk blocks on one side and your upside down half slabs right against it, then putting blocks above those and placing your upside down half slabs on them and then breaking them. On this one you'll need a block above that's being faced into by that last piece of redstone like that. Then come to this side, you can leave those blocks there you'll be needing them and be sure to bring it one up like so place redstone dust on top of all of those including that last one and a block right there then come over to this side you'll do some interesting stuff with this redstone but block right there and blocks like that fill it in with your redstone wiring. Then come around to your piece of glowstone with redstone dust on top of it and do one. This one is for your piston pushers and the light green ones are for your leaf crushers. After you've filled this one up with redstone all of your vertical wiring is complete. From the top of your vertical wiring you're going to want to place four more blocks on both sides with redstone dust on top of all of them. Next come down below place five blocks and one over like that with a block on the end there and redstone dust on top of all of that. Then repeat this for the two below like this. Now come ar along to the other side and do the exact same thing mirrored for the three on this side. Redstone dust all along the top and then you can put one right on top of that. Now go ahead and fill in these two corners with whatever block you would like in between the solid blocks. This should give you something that looks something like a weird rib cage. In this corner, go ahead and place a tower of blocks, making sure that the a the ones that are coming out of your redstone dust are solid so that you can power the pistons that are eventually going. Now you can go ahead and come over to this wall, take your sticky pistons and place them two deep and seven high right against this wall like so so that your vertical wiring will be facing directly into them on the right then take regular pistons and take them six high like so now place the bottom level of your other pistons which is just three stickies in the middle and one regular on the two ends with two regulars beside each of the sides and take all of those six high like this now come over to this corner and fill in this one last piece of wall straight up to the top of your pistons this will prevent any saplings from getting out now it's time to place the wood on all of your piston pushers and leaf crushers so place a piece of glowstone right there with six wood coming up to right next to your piston and then wood on this 
little piece of redstone right here so that the redstone will power it like this. You'll also need one more piece of wood right there, one higher. And then the rest of it is just placing wood on the front of all of your sticky pistons. That is all that you have to do to finish up your farm. The only thing left is to take some bone meal and put it in the hoppers at the back so that you've got bone meal for your trees. I'd recommend hooking it up to your storage system or some sort of large bulk storage. But now your farm is complete. You can hop in there and grow some trees. You could also send the wood directly to a wither cage to automatically harvest it or to a larger bulk storage so that you'll be able to harvest it quicker later. Thank you so much for watching fellows, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you'd like more tutorials like this, and if you really found it useful, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time fellows.